Hey! Have you ever wanted to slap Valstrax out of his ambush? Me neither. This took way too many attempts. Please send help. Then look no further, for I have, for you, the Monstrous Hammer. Sunbreak Edition. Title's still pending. Hammer in base, Monster Hunter Rise, was already one of my go-to weapons, but Daddy Capcom was like, here, have some steroids. And that brings us to now. The Hammer in Sunbreak got some insanely strong silk binds that have the ability to alter the way we play the hammer. With the addition of our new Silkbind Charge Mode Courage, we can now combo our charged attacks into themselves, or swing once, charge, then roll to retain that level of charge for the next opening. Or heck, you can do a slap into uppercut into max charged impact crater. If you really wanted to get fancy, a level 1 slap into level 2 uppercut into big smashy face swing into burst crater. Which brings us on to our next magnanimous move of silk bindage, impact burst. We can yeet off the ways of impact crater for a new, sexier way of dealing damage. This amazing one silk bind move slams the weapon down, giving the floor a joyride, empowering the hammer to create additional shockwaves that make it easier to flinch our unfortunate foes on all of our follow-up attacks for the next 55 seconds. That's some serious buff uptime, considering it's a one wire bug silk bind on a medium recharge rate. Speaking of recharge rate, don't think the hammer's done yet. We also got ourselves the silk bind keeping sway. This is personally one of my new favorite silk binds to use, as it gives us a fairly lengthy amount of iframes to go through most things in the game, be it attacks, roars, unavoidable death. Nah, probably can't avoid that but it can avoid a lot of other things. Best part, it's also on a one wire bug fast recharge that also keeps your charge level if you dodge while charging, which is just crazy strong. Lastly, the hammer got a rather niche silk bind that alters how our strength mode spinning bludgeon works. I personally don't use this too often, but there's no reason to not run it over the default one. It essentially turns your spinning bludgeon, which is executed in strength mode by releasing the trigger while moving. To do this spin, what the new version does is essentially let you charge during that spin, which can then be followed up with a stance change from whatever charge level you got it to during the spin and it will carry over that charge, so you can do your big smashy hit, or say an impact crater. It has its niche, if you forget to stance change, it's a somewhat reliable way to do it. So with all of the silk binds out of the way, what do these changes mean for Hammer? For one, we can play much more aggressively and stylishly at that. And two, it actually allows Hammer to better run elemental setups, meaning we aren't just locked into raw all the time. If you want the diversity, it can work really well. Thank you for watching, I hope this has inspired a few of you to give the Hammer a try, and I hope to see you in the next one.